So this video is just a quick overview of the different changes that can happen to equilibrium. The following videos will go into detail of each type of different change. So the basic principle is named after Le Chatelier. I'm sorry for I can't pronounce that too well in French. Um, and so the principle is if a stress is applied to a system in dynamic equilibrium, the system will partially change to relieve that stress. So I've tried to just give a summary here. So if you just increase one side, so if you just increase A, uh, that causes the stress here uh, because that's out of proportion now. And so these two components now uh, will try and raise the levels of C and D by uh, turning into pushing the reaction to the right hand side over here. So adding A will cause A and B to turn into more C and D and vice versa is also true. So if you decrease A, uh, then C and D will start turning into uh, more A and B to make up for the, uh, the drop in the A. Okay, so uh, we'll go through all the different types. Here is just a summary if you're watching this video in review. Uh, this is what's coming up. Uh, and so you'll see uh, equilibrium constant isn't till towards the very end. Uh, and so don't worry about that for the moment. Only um, temperature changes that. Um, so we're going to go through concentration, pressure, temperature and catalysts. Uh, and so you'll see that if I can do uh, just a simple reaction here. Uh, let's just do liquid and gas here. So increasing concentration, um, the change shifts to the opposite side. Uh, so increasing A will shift it to B, uh, we've just mentioned that, and decreasing A will shift it uh, to more of A. Uh, pressure here, so uh, if there's more gas, so if you increase the pressure that'll put stress on this side, it'll go uh, to here with the least moles of gas. And likewise decreasing B uh, will cause the reaction to shift, decreasing pressure will uh, cause more B to be created. Um, temperature we will write, as I'll show you later, um, we'll write that as a product and so for an exothermic, which is this one here, increasing heat will shift it back to the pro uh, reactants. So increasing temper shifts in the endothermic direction, which is the opposite. Uh, decreasing pressure shifts it, so decreasing, uh, so temperature, sorry, decreasing temperature will push it in this direction, which is the exothermic direction. And catalyst has no effect on the equilibrium, uh, but I'll hint at what we were talking about before. If it's an open system, uh, it will actually allow the reaction to finish uh, much faster, and you'll see in the e catalyst uh, videos that uh, you will be able to see it in the graph that it forms the equilibrium quicker but you won't be able to notice uh, in equilibrium that the catalyst the forward and reverse directions are happening faster because it has no effect they're both in balance 